I think I'm gonna get lit. Putting his chest on her. <laughs> okay, can we not? I'm so stupid. It is officially not morning, but let me tell you something. A girl is going through a rough time, okay? <laughs> that head pump really did me dirty. I'm like, wait, I don't remember my name. Honestly, do you guys ever do that? Like, do you ever hit your head and then suddenly you're thinking, okay, what's my name? How old am I? Because I think I watch way too much Grey's Anatomy where literally people start forgetting their shit after a small head bump. It's like, oh, let's just go to the hospital for safekeeping just in case. They get there. Everything's fine. Ten minutes later, they're like, I don't know my left boob from my right boob. And it is so terrifying. What's my name? So essentially, I woke up really late this morning, so I guess it's afternoon right now. Patricia is coming over in I think like four or five hours, and we have a ton of stuff that I need to get done before she gets here because it is a shit show in here. Also, do I need sunglasses? I feel like I'm gonna be starting a lot of vlogs in this little section. You guys are currently on my makeup table. Oh, I did order some stuff from Sephora, so. We got my Amore Pacific. This is the treatment cleansing foam, which I love. I did get my foundation, the Marc Jacobs. I got my, wow, everything that I got from Sephora isn't even on the makeup table. And then right here, we're gonna put a huge circular mirror, hopefully today, so I can start doing my makeup. I just, I feel the need to explain why I woke up so late today, because I don't know, this is like excuses, right? So, last night, I'm laying in bed. <laughs> Should I even be saying stuff like this? So every time, I don't know why I'm whispering, my fiance's not even in the apartment right now. Every time we move to a new place, I do this thing where I love my fiance, don't get me wrong, he's the love of my life, but at times, I would rather me live than uh, him live if there was only one of us. <laughs> okay, that sounds so much worse when you say it out loud. But my thinking is, when it comes to choosing your side of the bed, I like to choose the side where I can flee from an intruder quicker than he can. So if it's like, oh shit, like one of us has to be, you know, the person that gets intruded upon, I would rather it be him, I guess, you know? <laughs> so the last place that we lived in, I know we get it, so I mean, you move, stop comparing it to the last place, but legit, the last place that we lived into was the ground floor. So our window of the bedroom, if you guys remember that bedroom window, it did have some sort of like a barricade so no one could easily access that window, but it was a ground floor window. And so I would place my, not place, my fiance side of the bed was next to the window because my thinking was if a perpetrator or an intruder climbed in through the window, I was close to the bedroom door. I could hop out of bed, run out the bedroom door and out the front door and then be like, oh my God, I left my fiance and the dogs. I guess. But then this one, I couldn't sleep because I just didn't know. Like I didn't have a game plan. I didn't have a strategy because the window is the side that I'm sleeping on right now. And I don't think anyone is gonna climb up this tall to get to me through the window. I don't think it's possible. But if someone came in through the front door, then there really is no, oh my God, let me show you guys. This has been plaguing my mind. Like this is the stuff that I think about, okay? <laughs> this is karma, okay? That's why I hit my head. So the front door is there. My fiance slept here the past two days. I slept here. That's the window. If a perpetrator, an intruder goes, ha ha, bit, then like what side is better for me to escape? Is it better for me to be here? But if I try to jump out the window, nothing good's gonna come out of that. But if I'm here, then I'm the first one in his line. So then I'm literally laying in that side of the bed thinking, okay, what if a perpetrator comes here? Where's, where does his eye go first? Does he go here or does he go here? And that's why, I barely got sleep last night. But I just wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna be organizing my makeup table because honestly, low-key think it's the most genius setup in my head. I haven't put it together yet, but I've envisioned it and I feel like it's gonna be epic. Just watch. I really sat here and I thought long and hard about how I was gonna organize it in a way that really made sense to me. And so I got these things. I wanted to be strategic. Every place that I put my makeup table in the past, it was never a proper makeup table. I was literally on the floor doing my makeup at the old place, which is fine. I actually prefer doing my makeup on the floor, but it was just a really uncomfortable setup where like I would be on my knees for like an hour as I do my face, beat my face, and do my hair, and it's just not okay. Bruises on my knees making me look like I hold it out every night, okay? I showed you guys this yesterday, and now, I'm gonna show you guys the good. First thing I got is this like marble trinket tray and I'm thinking of placing all of my makeup on this. Revolutionary, I know, Stephanie Sue. I, I came up with it, please. So then this one I got is, this is a trinket tray I think where you're supposed to put like your rings or like a necklace or something. I got it so that I could put 
my beauty blender because usually I put my beauty blender on this and I was like you know what Stephanie you could do better you could be cuter you could be more put together you could be more adult and so I got this marble trinket tray to put my beauty blender and I think I'm just gonna put that right here and then I got this gold club club cup so that I could put my makeup brushes because right now I have it in like a drinking cup and I love drinking water out of these so I'm gonna <laughs> Why am I so excited? Speaking of beds, which side of the bed do you guys sleep on? And do you guys like think of these things when you choose your bedside? Or do you guys just go for like, oh, this is comfortable, or you always sleep on the left side of the bed? Or do you think of like, if someone tries to burglarize your home? So then I got this gold little cup from CB2, and my makeup brushes fit almost perfectly in there. Like it's a good amount of space where I can like easily pick it out, but not enough space where it's like, flying around right here's where i feel very revolutionary it's super sunny in this room and i don't know if you guys know this but i feel like this foundation that i have the mark jacobs bisque medium and i've been using it for like what feels like years now oxidizes so fast even if i'm like two-thirds of the way through i feel the need to buy a new foundation because i feel like the color changes i don't know what it is like the first two-thirds of the bottle freaking obsessed freaking love it the last one third I don't know why it makes my face look so red compared to my neck and when I start seeing comments that are like <laughs> her makeup is so bad that's usually when I go pick up a new bottle and those comments stop not really but I think that there's less of them okay so then I got because if I know that if it's in the Sun I feel like it's gonna oxidize really quickly so I got this little marble toothbrush holder <laughs> because I want it outside not in the bathroom but I didn't want it to oxidize and that is absolutely a thousand percent the most extra thing I've ever done in my life literally nobody but me hi can I get a marble cup for my foundation I'm so stupid you might think that I am financially irresponsible for buying such stupid things for a foundation holder really biz but think about it this way if I stop having to buy new foundations two-thirds after the bottle I mean Bill Gates, bits. <laughs> oh man, we've literally been nonstop just getting the rest of our pieces slowly in as I'm trying to do the little makeup stand. He comes in. This one's so cute. What? Hey, oh, he's look. got long hair. Looks like your head. You know what? Do you think it's the same size? This it's is... so much bigger. <laughs> What, your head? <laughs> That's what my makeup table looks like. So I have my foundation, I have my makeup brushes, I have my beauty blender. I also have, this is like pretty much my everyday makeup. I have like an entire drawer filled with other like lipsticks, like lip liners that I really, really like. I just don't use them on a daily basis. So my everyday look would be like this NYX eyebrow shadow, the Tarte uh, gel liner, Fenty Beauty contour stick, Rimmel Stay Matte foundation, Hula bronzer, and my Pat McGrath. This is literally my holy grail eyeshadow palette. So pigmented and like so, what do you call it? Like clumsy proof? I don't know why. I just feel like it's so blendable and I suck at putting on eyeshadow. So I need something that's pigmented but blendable. This is still definitely the shit show room. Stephanie's shit show room has gotten worse because now we have these giant cardboard boxes filled with white wardrobes that we need to assemble and just kind of like place right here but this is probably the best room for a sunset i don't know if you guys can see the sun is setting right there i just don't spend a lot of time in here yet because of the wardrobes they're not set up it just looks kind of messy with all the clothes out here and i feel like my brain is jumbled and then in the bathroom bit, 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 bit. we also ordered these cb2 cabinets i have to install the shelves i didn't realize that they were going to be this short <laughs> What's good, what's poppin'? <laughs> but they fit perfectly, like look at this. I think I have to get some editing done before Patricia and Edward arrive and I think we're gonna be eating dinner together. Currently, this is in the middle of the living room, so let's try to move this out. Ready? Wait, okay, are we really doing this? I don't think that's how you play. No, it, that looks too easy. Oh. What the hell, this is not bowling. Wait, this thing is like kind of broken. Oh my god, can you imagine? And he literally almost I was gonna walk to the corner just to see what's down there. You guys are so stupid. Like, we're like, oh my god, so beautiful. Guys, guys, step right here. Right here? <laughs> what are you doing? Honey, you're embarrassing. Wow, it's so chewy. Oh my god. Nice. We went to the rooftop and they're having a party. I think it's a bunch of Koreans who are hosting the party. And this man walks in and he looks at us and he goes, Oh, hi. Because I think he's part. We look like 
like we're part of the party. Okay, but we didn't Korean. know those Koreans, so no. we were just like, I didn't even know oh. they were Korean. I didn't see. <laughs> yeah. Not wow. good at breaking Edwin it. wants to see her break the balls. <laughs> so we're down here trying to play pool. <laughs> and then we're gonna order some Shake Shack. Say has been calling, how does how does my fiance say Shake Shack? Shusha. <laughs> and he's so serious too. He goes, so when are you gonna post my shusha? <laughs> are you serious? If this is how you play with balls, don't know how you're in a relationship. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn it! I'm annoyed. Do people usually get it in the first shot? <laughs> I also love that I'm trying to get in the frame like this. <laughs> you look like you oh, could use a cold clothes. beer right now. <laughs> you look like you'd be good. Did he get it in? Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we not do it? <laughs> this. Couldn't they real pose? Look at those legs. <laughs> wow. oh. Oh. No! Did you just ask if he there's said a... take it off okay, just oh. it off Yeah, there's not even <laughs> I just got a glimpse of his face and he absolutely hates us right now. What are you doing? <laughs> but also, doesn't this light look like a little sperm racing off oh to the races? God, yeah. Like two yeah, sperms in a fight. Cool. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Honestly, Edward, do you hate us? Also, we took this out of the wardrobe box and he goes, Oh, is that the frame? Guys, CV2 up in their game. <laughs> Meanwhile, Patricia, I see you. Wow, you guys look so much more attractive moving things, moving heavy things, assembling heavy things, very handsome. Yeah. Where's the shelf? Shelves are inside. Where's all like, the shelf? Wait, is there, is there something in that corner? Wow, you guys are really killing it. Thank you so much. It took us um, about four tries to get this part on, but I think we are 20% through. I got a text message and she's like, is that Shake Shack? Okay, so in all of this mess, we got something delivered. Oh my gosh, we have so much food. We're actually ordering a second round because I think we're gonna be filming a mukbang yes. later. Okay, so we have, this oh, is Edward's chicken burger. Okay, oh my god, you have to, this is my favorite one. This is the shroom burger. So it's fried portobello mushroom with cheese inside. What the hell is this? It's so <laughs> good. I thought it was mushroom and No, it's so good. No, I thought the mushroom was like the side, like on. No, 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 you have to try it. Can I try your chicken Holy burger? shit, no, you're no, gonna die. This. No, I don't want that. No, you guys are gonna fight, but he thought he was gonna hate it. My fiance thought he was gonna mm -hmm. hate it, and he freaking loves it, dude. Here, try it. <laughs> I have two regular burgers, but I'm not gonna give you one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? There's this way better than Chick fil A. I told you. They have some of the best That's chicken like, burgers. This is way better than Chick fil A. Yeah. What do yeah, you think? Yeah. Really this is interesting. No, actually, but it's good. Once you get to the cheese, it's, it's really good actually. Right? Yeah. It's so different. Mama, do you like how I. Wait, do you guys like how I hit everything? Do you notice anything on my cabinet? Where's the popcorn? Nothing. Let me explain. We have these pull out drawers. Oh, I, but I did an extension cord and now I can just hook it up and use it. Mm -hmm. And open it while I'm using it and then just slide it in. Nice. Because doesn't it look so much cleaner? Yeah. The last thing you want is a rice cooker out on a counter. Because we just moved and my ketchup was out so I didn't bring my ketchup. We're eating all of our Shake Shack with Purdak sauce, right? <laughs> and I don't know why Patricia thinking about Purdak sauce. There was that one time you were in Dallas, like a month ago, uh -huh. and she had eaten two times Purdak mian, right? And she calls me, <laughs> her entire face like this is just so red. <laughs> oh, when I tried to eat it? Yeah. And then she said that she had stuck her entire face into the cup to just soak it in water to oh, try yeah. to get rid of the... <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh. Dude, it's bad. <laughs> but the fact that like you were also home alone, just like sticking your <laughs> face into water. Sometimes you know you want something spicy, but then oh, so. Message your boyfriend to eat it like as a meal. Really? Yeah. Stand this up from this side. Huh? Oh, this. Oh yeah, this is hard. It looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hates the way this looks. He says it's the most basic shit he's ever seen. Damn it. I think it's beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Sure is. <laughs> this literally looks like buttless panties. 
Oh my god. Okay, so Patricia and Edward just left because I have to film another mukbang and it's getting pretty late and Edward lives all the way in mother freaking Orange County. But I'm so thankful they came over and Patricia got me the nicest, oh, <laughs> she got me the nicest housewarming gift. She literally, okay, Patricia's not really good at showing emotion so I knew that this meant a lot to her. She just didn't want to admit it. But she put it in this cute little pink bag and she hands it to me like, Yogi, here, take it, right? And she goes, because you quit Equinox, right? And it's Kiehl's lotion, shampoo, conditioner, Aww. because that's what they had at Equinox. And she goes, I know you like your stuff and you went to shower there all the time, so here, because you quit. And so she got me the, oh, this is the exact one, the grapefruit body wash. This is the exact hair conditioner and the amino acid shampoo, so thank you, Pudrasha. But in the elevator, because we walked them downstairs and we took out trash and they were just so helpful this entire time. But in the elevator, as we're coming back, up. This couple gets back onto the elevator and it's just us four in the elevator mind you and it's so incredibly awkward because as my fiance and I are just standing there literally I'm in my PJ in this Cuban shirt and he starts walking up towards her right and like he's all like I don't know like is this a mating call he's like putting his chest on her you know and then he's all like he's all like what you want I got you boo you want some food and then she goes no I just I think I'm gonna get lit like I want something to drink and then he was like, I got you, I got drinks. And he's like putting his, literally, this is her body. And he's all like, I got drinks. No. Yeah. And then that's why I was like looking down. What were you looking at? I thought he's dropping. It was really interesting. Yeah, they seemed like they were having a great time though. <laughs> so, no day no shade. They seem like they're having a fun ass time. I just always think it's really interesting with like, do you know, like I feel like that's always the beginning of a relationship. Like when you first start dating someone or you're really into someone, you don't even realize that there's other people in the elevator with you, right? <laughs> Isn't that like a thing? That's I feel how like... I feel. That's why I always, I just look at you and then you make it. No, you don't. I didn't even hear no, you don't. Literally everyone when they first start dating, they act like nobody else in this world exists and they're just like having their own conversation. You don't feel that way? But then I feel like once you get a little bit like more into the relationship, then you become more aware of your surroundings and you're like, maybe we shouldn't have our tongues down each other's throats in the middle of our public library. We're trying to finish up this wardrobe. I think I'm getting a little bit hungry. I didn't eat too much Shake Shack while they were here, so my stomach is a grumbling. It's a rumbling. Did I show you guys the finished product? Dun, dun, da, da, da. Oh my gosh, this is what I've been looking for. And then just to show you. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. That looks good. Let's talk, shall we? It is currently, hold on, let me up the brightness in this. And yes, that is a pimple on my chin. I feel like she's been there for a while and she ain't paying rent or none of that. It's currently 1.54 in the mother freaking morning, biz. It is two o'clock in the morning and that's why probably I sound like I'm somewhat whispering. Everyone's like, you're literally talking normally and I'm like, I'm whispering. Can you guys even hear me, biz? So essentially, the wardrobes are in. Let me give you guys, I don't know if I, I feel like I've just been showing you my wardrobes all day. Day. I'm so sorry. So essentially these are the wardrobes. They're in. We moved this desk over to this side I feel like this is the perfect little nook for me to edit with the light underneath. It's gonna be real lit This part is a little bit empty So I'm thinking maybe we'll fit a plant or two up in there But we are going to transfer all of this into these and I'm about to b-roll it Satisfying b-roll for the first time ever because I haven't done this since I moved I feel like I've just not been doing b-rolls, okay, and I just love satisfying organizing b-roll so let's mother freaking do it at two in the mother freaking morning. <laughs> Update is currently 3.49 in the mother freaking morning and I just finished editing some videos and cleaning my entire little room in here. I just want to quickly show you guys. So these are the wardrobes and they are finally somewhat done. So in this one I have some of my bosses, some stay at home like bathrobes, my towels, and then for the bottom I just needed a place to store all of my camera and my gear and some extra backup gear and some extra batteries and just like a zoom recorder. And then in this one, 
I have more dresses and then at the bottom I have all of my stay at home clothes originally I was gonna put them in the bathroom but I just feel like this storage will be way better here and then I just kind of rearranged oh I put the jackets at the bottom which probably wasn't a smart idea but I just rearranged this a little bit so I could have all of my pants on one side and these are some jackets here but I am so wiped out. I think I need to go take a long, hot shower. And I think that's going to be it for today's vlog. Sorry for the short outro. And just, whew, this will be better tomorrow. Because I think at this point, there really isn't a lot of apartment work that needs to be done. Minus hanging a couple of things on the walls. But it should be it. Like, this really feels like I'm getting some closure on this apartment moving in process. And so, I love you guys so, so much. That's going to be it for today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah.